Hi there, welcome to my views and news, big news from Tegarai, where the name of the new president is being discussed. Federal government is proposing some name stocks ongoing at a hotel in Macale. Where is Gitacho? Has he gone abroad to Addis Ababa? Secondly, PMRB is going to appear in the House of Representatives on Thursday to answer the questions uh, put by the members of the House of People's Representatives. Let's start from Trigger Eye viewers, where lots of rumors, lots of speculations after Gita Choreda uh, delegated charge to Tadase Varede yesterday. Gita Cho yesterday signed a letter authorizing Tadase Varede to be the caretaker president of Trigger Eye. Uh, for unspecified period. How long will Vare they continue? We don't know. When will Gitacho return? We don't know. But this is not the first time that Gitacho has appointed an interim head of government in his absence. He has done that in the past too. I have seen a letter from John, John this year. When similarly, Gita Choreda appointed uh, a caretaker president when he went uh, out of Tegram. So it's not something unusual. But keeping in view the current political situation, this uh, latter is leading to speculations. And people are saying that Gita Cho won't return. By the way, where is Gita Cho? Has he gone abroad for medical treatment? Is he in Ari Sababa? He is not in Tegarai. This is what we have been able to confirm. He is not in Tegarai. Most sources say that he is in Addis Ababa, the capital. Will he leave Addis Ababa for some foreign country? It's not clear. <clears throat> but he is in Addis Ababa. So while he is not in Tegarai, what is happening there in his absence? Planet Hotel Macale is the center of negotiations where talks ongoing. Janal Sadkan there, Janal Varede there, in touch with the Ethiopian Prime Minister PM Abi. Uh, federal government has made it clear reportedly. I am sharing the part which I have been able to confirm with you. And the part which is unconclusive, inconclusive rather. Federal government has made it clear that if Gitacho is removed, then federal government's next choice would be General Sadkan Gibbetan Sai. Varade has been appointed in caretaker capacity. Federal government has sent a message to Varede, to TPLF, especially TPLF de Bretsir, that if you want to remove Gita Choreda, then the man who will replace Gita Choreda would be Janal Sadkan Gabriel Sai, who is already working in Tegra Interim Government as Deputy President. But he was nominated by Tegarai Civil Society for this slot. He is not a nominee of TPLF. I am not saying that Sadkan is going to be the next president of Tegarai. Please. Uh, because people sometimes uh, they Uh, misquote me, they say, Sajid, you said this, you said that. They don't uh, listen to complete video. They don't watch the complete video and they draw conclusions. I am not saying that Sadkan has been appointed as the 
new president of Tiger. I'm saying that federal government has sent a message to TPLF and where are they? That if Gitacho is to be removed, Sadkan will be the next president of Tiger. Is Sadkan acceptable to TPLF? Not clear. I don't know. I can only share my analysis with you. My uh, Sadkan uh, has been under fire from TPLF. The Pratsian in an interview recently criticized Sadkan. He said during the war, Sadkan tried to seize power. He tried to uh, consolidate power. He tried to divide uh, TPLF. And they say the main man behind uh, Gitacho is Sadkan. So Sadkan is Sadkan won't be an easy choice to be accepted by TPLF the Bratzian wing. Firstly. Secondly, we can look at it from another angle too. If Gitacho goes, at least TPLF will remain intact. If Gitacho goes, it means that TPLF Gitacho wing will have to join uh, TPLF the Brad Sian. Or you can say they won't be able to survive in Tegarar without Gitacho wing. Sadkan won't be in a position to openly, publicly back another TPLF group in Tegarar. If Gitacho goes, at least TPLF will remain intact. Sadkan is Sadkan more acceptable or Gitacho for TPL? I think if you compare the two, I think Sadkan is more acceptable. Why? Because at least TPLF will remain united if Gitacho goes and Sadkan comes. But again, Sadkan's appointment will be very hard choice for TPLF to be made. Sad Khan has been calling for democracy, for reforms, for political reforms, for transparent elections, for the formation of uh, uh, Tagarai Advisory Council. If he becomes the president, he won't let TPLF dominate Tagarai's politics. He will give equal share, maybe to other parties too. So that is why it's not easy for TPLF to accept Sad Khan as the new president. We can analyze this uh, development from another angle too. Maybe federal government is proposing the name of Sad Khan to put pressure upon TPLF. Federal government won't obviously appoint any hardcore TPLF leaders to be the president. That is why it is floating the name of Sad Khan, so that TPLF Debratsian would propose names of those TPLF leaders which are, who are more acceptable to the federal government. So we'll have to wait. Only confirmation is that federal government wants Sad Khan to be the president of Tegarai if Gitach was removed. What will TPLF do? We'll have to wait. We're not sure about Gitacho either, by the way. Will he return or not? But uh, he's not in Tagarai now. Tell him Abi will appear at the parliament on Thursday. He will answer the questions of uh, members of House of People's Representatives. MPs have been told to submit questions to the speaker. The questions are submitted in advance. This is what has been happening in the past too. Uh, I think 48 hours or 24 hours before the speech uh, is the deadline that MPs must submit these questions to speaker. The Abi will then see all the questions and then when he'll appear at the parliament, in his speech he will address these questions. So MPs will read their questions too when Pim Abi will be there. Uh, this question and answer session is not the first one which I have seen in Ethiopia. Pim Abi wants to show as if he is very democratic, as if he is answerable to the members of uh, parliament. 
But it's not true, by the way. Those who ask tough questions, they could be arrested. They could be, their immunity could be revoked. Once uh, Christian Tadale asked the Prime Minister to step down and for a year, for almost a year, he's been in prison. Uh, so it's not easy to ask tough questions. Team RB can do anything to those MPs who will ask tough questions. And secondly, uh, it's just a show for international community by the Prime Minister. He wants to show that he's very democratic. Otherwise, we know that uh, he's crushing opposition parties. He's not giving any political space to political parties. OFC, OLF, ONLF, parties in afar, in other parts of the world. They say that they are not allowed to carry out any political activity under Team Arbiska. You see how democratic he is. We'll cover uh, his uh, appearance at the parliament on Thursday. Thank you.